Um, coming in a, in a hostile environment. Um, in the last week, we didn't play to our standards, which, you know, that was on us. You know, we took uh, full responsibility for that, for that game and, you know, in front of our fans. And, you know, coming way west coast, uh, you know, like I said, the hostile environment, the fans are, are relentless, you know, and um, for, for this organization, you know, and for, for this city. And, I mean, I, I don't think nobody expected us to come out here and uh, get a W. But I know we just stuck together, trusting, you know, what we preach and what coach preaches, and how we practice and how we play that um, eventually come together for us and glad to come out here and get a win. Is anyone talking at halftime there? Say it again? Well, the only person that talked was the head coach. Yeah, I mean, you can't sit here and uh, talk and not go out there and do so. That's what Coach is talking about. We can talk all we want, but until we go out there and do it, you know, it's just, it's, it's just, just talk. So, you know, we just want to go out there and uh, put it all together. And like I said, happily to uh, get a good win against a great team in a, a hostile environment. When you feel like things are maybe kind of turning, do you feel like maybe in the process game, you got, kind of got your identity back? You talked about wanting to play to your standards. Do you feel like you guys started to do that? Well, I felt like we was putting drives together, but we just weren't finishing in the end zone. You know, we kept getting three points and uh, stalling. And, you know, we just knew, you know, we can move the ball, but we just got to, you know, finish in the end zone. And, you know, once we came back out, that was the main focal point is, you know, put drives together and, and the score points. And we got field goals, but we knew that wasn't going to help us, you know, against this team. And I was glad that we was able to get in the end zone. Getting back to that identity and finishing this game the way you guys know you can, how much can that potentially be a springboard for you? Yeah, I think you just enjoy this one. Um, a tough, a tough fought battle, um, and and have that twenty four hour rule and get ready for the next one. Um, we got another tough opponent coming up, division opponent. So you know, uh, tough, tough, hard fought battle. Uh, come in um, after a, a day off, and watch the film, grow, and then get back to work again. There's always um, tough lead. Uh, um, it's always tough not having one of your veterans, your leaders on your team, and you know the energy he brings to this team. We you know we all feed off of it. So um, you know just just can't wait to uh, get him back out there. Ty did a great job. It's always the next man up. You know prepare like you are the starter throughout practice, uh, throughout training camp, and that's what those guys did. Came in and did their job like they're supposed to. Yeah, about you. I, I guess you watching him and you kind of seeing him kind of get back the way he's used to playing. How good was that to see? And, and Oh uh, yeah, it was uh, it's pretty cool uh, seeing them out there making plays, um, finishing for it in yards after the catch. You, know, you always um, hear about it, see the highlights, but in person it's pretty cool. I think it was a career high interception today, Quinn, and you also had some pretty solid pass throwing blitz pickups. Obviously, the rushing attack. Do you feel like this is one of your more well-rounded performances over your career? Really, just trying to do my job. Um, you know. Uh, Knew they were going to blitz. They love the blitz, the safety, and um, just had to, had to pick him up. You know, he's a, a great player, a tough player, and me just being available, available for the quarterback um, if nobody was open and just catching the ball and um, getting what I can after I, after I, after I catched it. Got to catch. What's the, just the you know, whole entire, it's still only two games in the season, but the staff or team just heard only two, they very rarely make the playoffs. How big is it just to be one-on-one -on -one versus going on I don't really get into all that. I just focus on what, what we do week after week, how we play as a team. I don't get caught up into all the scenarios and, and um, the records. Just focus on what we need to do as a team to come out here and get a win, and happy that we were able to get a win today. With this, uh, this type of effort, you focus on what you need to do as a team. The second half, is this the type of effort you have to repeat? Um, I think, you know, uh, you know, we all love the way, you know, we finished the game. You know, like I said, it was early in the game where we got drives going and we didn't we didn't get in the end zone. But, you know, you just like I said, this this game is it's the NFL, you know, it's it's gonna be tough, you're gonna have adversity. But as long as we stick with it and play to, you know, our standard that you know everything goes to fall in place for us. Thanks. 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 Thanks.